hamsters and I'm here to tell you about it. Today, I got some new hamster stuff. So a few weeks ago, I put Steven, one of my Roborowski hamsters in a bin cage. It was the first one I ever attempted. And I looked at a lot of tutorials and Instagram pages. And I think I, I did him a little bit of a disservice because I put his wheel up on this platform and now that I'm watching him in it, I think it makes him really nervous. I feel that he's more nervous in this cage than he was in his old cage, which was a bit more covered. So I'm gonna make him another bin cage. I don't wanna mess with what he's in right now because he's so nervous and I feel like it's gonna disrupt him. I kept all of his bedding from his old cage. So I'm just gonna move it into this new cage, you know, get rid of the dirty stuff, but keep a lot of the same bedding so it can smell like him and hopefully keep him at ease but I'm also gonna set it up a little better this time. I'm learning from my mistake. No more wheels at the top for a robo. <laughs> Robos are way too nervous for that. They want everything kind of burrowed and covered and easily accessible. Even though he's comfortable with us and lets us pet him and feed him treats, he still is very easily upset by not having enough things to hide under. So. I don't think I did as good of a job with this first spin cage, but you know what, I'm learning and I'm grateful that he's giving me feedback and hopefully he's being very patient with me. So a few things that I bought him. I got this um, set of clear tubes. I put some KT tubes in his cage and I think they're so ugly, but he loves them, weirdly enough. He goes in them all the time. So I figured, you know what, I'm gonna get some clear ones and then maybe I'll put them under the bedding or maybe just up above. I could even Velcro them to the inside of the tub. And at least it gives him some extra places to go and feel secure, which was my goal of getting these tubes. I can put them above the bedding, but he can still, so we can interact with him, but he doesn't, he doesn't feel unsafe. I also got him this teeter-totter. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> I thought he might like this. It's simple, but it's just cute. Also got a bunch of these plastic they are for makeup or silverware is how they're advertised. This one came from Amazon in a set of three, which I thought would be handy so I could take them out and wash them or I can put them next to each other and create a larger sand bath space in his cage or multiple kind of sections for Robos. I read that you're supposed to have a third of their cage be sand or at least more of their cage be sand. So my goal with this next cage setup that I do is to make a significant portion of his cage sand, but I also want to provide him with a lot of things inside the sand area, activities like the teeter-totter and um, maybe a few hides so that he can use the sand more frequently but also feel more comfortable and secure. I also got, I mean I went a little overboard, but whatever. <laughs> Hamsters are my life right now. So I also got this beautiful acrylic tray. I thought this would be nice. And I just really like how beautiful it is and clean and simple. It's right now bin cage, but at least the things that I have in the bin cage are really attractive and things that I wanna hold on to for a long time. And I think will be good for him because it's a really open space. It's clear, he can see it. I can see it, I can see when it's dirty. All those things are good. And because it's acrylic, even though he's not a big chewer, this is good because I don't think he could make a dent in this even if he wanted to. So a little safer than the takeout bins that I have been using for him. It's fine, he hasn't been chewing on it, but just in case, it, this won't be an issue. So one more thing that I got today, which I've been waiting for for a while. <clears throat> this is the Night Angel Super Silent medium size wheel. I think I ordered this two weeks ago and it only just became available on Amazon. Night Angel makes I think the best hamster products. I think it might be a German brand. All their hamster products are really beautiful. They're like wooden or clear or white. And they're that like bright everything hamster color. And I saw someone on Instagram post, hey guys, these wheels are now on Amazon and they sold out really fast. So I'm, got, I'm really glad I got one. Sue, so, good job Night Angel. I mean, I don't love a ton of styrofoam just for the earth, but I always save my packing materials. I try to sell my own used things on eBay or Poshmark, so I'll use this to ship something in. <laughs> Look at how funny it is. Wow, this looks like a person wrapped this. This is so nice. It's beautiful. Oh my God. 
Okay, if you are an adult hamster owner, you're gonna love this. I mean, you might be a child hamster owner and still love this. When I was a kid, I loved things that were clear, really. <gasps> it's so quiet and smooth. Can you hear it? Nope. Wow, I love this. So it also came with this cork, which I'm assuming is like for the bottom so it's not slippery if you want to put it on something, which is very nice. Wow, this is a really nice product. It has little tread, tread lines on there so it's not so slippery. It's kind of a lightweight plastic here, not cheap, but just not super heavy. And then this back is a little bit, a little bit harder and heavier. The base in general, it's a very heavy wheel, so I'm not worried about it tipping at all. It's very sturdy. So it's four inches wide. I think this is the medium size. This is nine, nine inches. This will be a really good size for my Robo. I'm so excited. The other thing I'm really excited about is it's very, it's very sleek. I like that it has a white back because I think it's gonna be a little bit more cozy for Steven. He's very nervous and I think this will make him feel even though this is clear, I think this will make him feel more secure and less nervous. I also plan to put this sort of not a pie in his cage, but more on the ground and then build up fluff kind of around it. Oh, I made this other thing. I have to show you this. I took this piece of cardboard that had been used as a partition in a box I got recently and I cut little holes in it. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to put this in one part of the bin cage, I'll put the paper bedding here. And then on this side, I think I'll put I got some aspen or I have some coming, I'll put some here and with some maybe pillow moss kind of mixed in for variety. And then I'll put the sand bath and the wheel down there so that it's kind of secure, but he also has a lot of digging space and kind of some, a little bit of everything. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see when I get there. It's one thing in your mind and then once you try to put it in a bin cage, I find it's a lot harder than it seems. I feel like it's a little bit like Sim City or Sim Hotel when you're trying to arrange things and then you realize the people don't have anywhere to eat or how are they going to get water or that one section doesn't have electricity and so it's dying. It's the same with bin cages <laughs> and a bit more important because you know a little animal depends on you. Anyway so that's my update for today. Those are all the recent things I got. I'm looking forward to putting that in a bin and I'm gonna record that, so I will share that with you guys soon. And if you have any comments about any of the products I got or suggestions for products that you have that you really like, I would love to hear it. If you have this wheel, I'm very curious how your hamster likes it. I'm very excited to give it to Steven and see what he thinks. I think he's gonna like it. I might give it to him before I even do the new bin cage because this is so nice. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. So I got something really big. The plan is that these acrylic shelves from Container Store, very nice and sleek. I can put water, food on here, keep it nice and clean and above any bedding two large sizes and then I got I got two smaller smaller sizes I can start my new hamster cage this weekend oh I did order some aspen so once that comes